everyone, so I'm back and I'm going to be giving you a um, breakdown of everything I've done to the car. Well, the car sat, started its life as a car I found in the barn, and not in a barn, in a field. And then it sat for 11 years and then a guy bought it. Went to a local dealership, bought the car and decided to let it sit. So. The car was started its life in Chesapeake, Virginia, and then moved to Concord, Virginia, where I found it, and then I brought it back to Lynchburg, Virginia. But the car needed a whole lot of work. I'll post up the videos if you guys are new to the channel. I'll post up the videos I have of it when I first brought it back here. But um, the car had a hydrolocked engine that I've never seen before. It, there was water in the cylinder walls, and the heads, and the intake. I found water everywhere. And I don't know how someone got water through the nostrils right here, but they must have drove under water, but it's clear title, so it doesn't make sense to me. But the car is still obviously on original paint. The hood got the worst of the sun. Surprisingly, the wing spoiler panels, bumper, doors, all turned out to be decent. Um, the interior cleaned up really nice too. Like it surprised me how nice it cleaned up. The car is a 2002 automatic Trans Am WS6. So the WS6 was the highest package you could get for the Trans Am. So it came with the Rammer hood, the WS6 badge, um, the stuff on the suspension, People say WS6 stands for six pieces suspensions or whatever, wide six, whatever, but it's just the RPO code. But anyway. So under the hood, you just got a simple Bolt-on LS1, I don't know if you can probably see that. Yeah, so factory rear mirror box, um, long tube headers, catch can, Ford 42 pound injectors um, to a boiler exhaust, and also it has an LS1 hot cam in the car. So I wanted a cam that wasn't too crazy where I had to have a stall because I didn't want to have a foil 60 destroy me because of heat, but this, this is not the original motor. I went and got another LS1 and had that one freshened up and cammed because the one that was in the car was the cylinder walls were too far gone. You'll see in some clips I post up, but the cylinder walls were way too far gone. It was incredible that someone let this car just sit. So the wheels that are now, um, Need tires because I did a burnout. which if you're near Virginia, you should come to them because they are pretty fun. Anyway, the wheels are OEM 2010 Grand Sport C6 wheels, and they are 19 by 12, and the tire size is 325, 30, 19. And how I did this was I had to cut the bump stops out, weld a plate in there, and then use the wheel to mock up where to beat the inside of the fender well up to get the clear from rubbing and then also roll my fenders. And I have had no issues with these wheels ever since I've like done and raised it up another half an inch to get cool overs. But um, the wheels were fairly simple. I mean, you had to, pretty sure on these cars, I had to die grind the inside of the uh, 
wheels all about to fit over the axles, over the hub on the uh, Trans Am. But other than that, like I've had zero issues out of these wheels for running a 19 by 12. At first, I mean, I was having rubbing issues, but then I raised it up a half an inch and that went away. So, I mean, would I recommend going to a 19 by 12 the 325 tire? Probably not, unless you have a lot of time to keep messing with it and messing with it. But, um, so on the inside of the car, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. It's actually really clean, like the dash pad. I hit a bump and chipped the dash pad, which kills me, but like the seats aren't tore up besides this little spot right here. The steering wheel is nice, the cluster is nice. I installed a trans temp gauge and then a wideband gauge right here on my pillars so that I could, you know, monitor vitals and not have this car get destroyed. But it's just pretty basic on here. I have a stock radio. I have a FM, AM, Bluetooth adapter so I can listen to my music, which are, works really, really well. So out back, I have um, really nothing done besides the Borla exhaust, which I'll say in every video, I love it. Um, but really, like the car, my plans for the car now is just like, clean it up and make it nicer like paint it and cool overs and maybe some UMI adjustable all stuff and maybe six speed swapping in the future I have everything to do with six speed swap so once the automatic goes out I'll be six speed swapping this car but honestly if you're looking to get an F body like I would they're good cars they look good you don't see them often anymore like try to save them as much as possible like I say, this one because like they're getting harder and harder to find, and eventually parts of this one will be so ridiculous. And I saved this car from being parted out, which I love because this car gets to live and see more miles and whatnot, and get some more love on it. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching this one, and uh, I'm going to uh, be having more G8 content coming up soon. Six speed swapping and LS3 swapping that one. So I'm super excited. This was kind of just like a filler video just to keep my uh, routine going and keep you guys interested in my stuff. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.